Hello everyone, welcome to another evening of frank conversation here on Hard Copy. I'm Maupe Ogun. On Sunday, October the 1st, Nigeria as an independent united sovereign nation will be 57. Tonight, I speak with Donald Duke, the first governor of Cross River State in the Fourth Republic, who was born on the eve of Nigeria's first independence anniversary, whom I hope will share his very candid thoughts on the state of the Nigerian Union. Dono Duke, you're welcome to Hard Copy. Thank you, Mope. Now, does this celebration have any effect on you, the very fact that you were born on the eve of Nigeria's first independence anniversary? Do you get reflective, for instance? Well, there's a graciousness of knowing that the following day is a holiday, so I get two for the price of one. <laughs> <laughs> you can definitely say that. Well, so looking at it, though, I mean, speaking a bit more seriously, People will argue that you're one of those people who have been fortunate, not just because you were born on the eve and you get a holiday after your birthday, uh, but also in terms of what you've been through with this country. You've been to school here, primary, secondary, university. You went to Unity School. You were schooled in Abu and Zaria. And eventually, you're one of those who, when the country said you'll be the leaders of tomorrow, you were fortunate enough to have led your people in Cross River State. Um, and you did that at the age of 38. What would you say prepared you for that future? It was actually 37 plus. Okay. Okay. Um, but yes, I was fortunate. Um, I belong to the generation that could truly say they were born Nigerian and not pre-independence. And so from the very onset, my outlook was Nigerian. My outlook was not... Um, Eastern Nigeria, Western Nigeria, Northern Nigeria. I was born in Cross River, but literally grew up in Lagos, attended schools in the North and in the Middle Belt. And in the course of it all, you realize that we're all the same. Our aspirations are the same, but our struggles are defined by inadequacies. So our inadequacies threw up the, the differences in us because we want to take advantage of it. So you, you would hear zoning, affirmative this and all that, but we're all looking for the same thing. Um, and that is instructive because here we are in potentially perhaps one of the greatest nations on earth, um, but consistently not able to realize uh, potential because we never or hardly put our best foot forward. Why do you think that is? I mean, I want to draw a little from your experience as the governor of Cross River. In your eight years as governor, what did you find was peculiar about Nigeria that still held, us, held that potential as potential instead of kinetic energy? First of all, our leaders have not come to terms with the fact that posterity has place great responsibility on them. It's almost a calling to lead at any level. And therefore, sentiments should be thrown out of the, all consideration. You have a job to do. The second thing is, a lot of us go into public office for self-actualization and not community, state or national aspirations. If we got into office for the right reasons, um, albeit to improve the lot of the people, then you must have a vision statement. You must start with that. And you must have concurrently the will to execute. It's not going to be easy, but it's like, it's an uncanny determination that come what may, this is where I'm going. And since you know you can't do it by yourself, you're going to identify those who can execute the will alongside with you. Unfortunately, um, we throw up all sorts of considerations um, from the personal to the very absurd. Um, and the people get shortchanged. In Cross River, we had a vision of where we wanted our state to be. We know, for instance, that Cross River is at the end of Nigeria. It's not Benin or Kaduna that is a thoroughfare, or it doesn't have a latent industry like uh, River State does. If you go to Calabar, 
you go there because you have to go there. And so we had to design a state that would pull people there. The other thing is we're in the Niger Delta. It's the oil belt of Nigeria. However, for some reason I'm still to discern, Cross River has little or no oil. Even that which we had when we lost Bakasi was taken from us. So we are in the Niger Delta, we're part of the NDDC, um, but we're not an oil producing state. So we needed to fashion a state that would take advantage of our environment and attract all that resource into the state. And that's where the idea of tourism came about. Now, we built the state on the platform of tourism and agriculture. Tourism because we wanted to draw the traffic in, because there's a lot of money in the Niger Delta. Um, and agriculture because we're 23,000 square kilometers of, with only 3 million people. So, and we have from the mangrove to the temperate and, and, and at Obudu, you can literally grow anything in Cross River. And so we're going to take advantage of our strengths. And that's what every state, community, nation has to do. And you must follow it through with uncanny determination. Mm. How would you say you followed it through in your state, for instance? I mean, where you say that one of the reasons why we've been held down is because we have all of these considerations. Did they ever come to play while you were there? Well, it's not going to come to play in the time of one administration. Um, governance is continuous. We had a program that by the year 2020, we ought to have been taken out of the, we ought not to be dependent on the Federation accounts. That was a plan. And by, by, sorry, by 2012, we ought to have been off the Federation accounts. In other words, the state is not dependent on receipts from the federal government to survive. The state should not have been. Yes. Or should not be dependent. Should not have been. Okay. Right. And by 2020, we were literally planning that our finances will be such that it will be so robust, right, that... Uh, we are a quasi-economically independent entity within Nigeria. But that definitely is not the case now. No, it didn't happen. The next question is why? <laughs>